I really like Nick Cave. I'm, I'm gonna get a tattoo of him down my arm. Face, but One with the back needles. Of his mullet down to here. Yeah. Maybe actually. He uh, stars his business and party hair on the cave. Yeah, I've I've actually had a handlebar moustache before, like, like that. January, um, unfortunately, really, really, really. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. We move along. This. You can't speak. Oh, drive sharp. All right. It's uncanny. Let, let's restart. I'm Nick Cave I'm from Nick Cave seeds. and the Bad Seeds. I'm Kylie Minogue. Hi, I'm, I'm Nick Cave from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. I'm uh, I'm Jim. I play drums in Ashes to Angels, and I'm also Krilly, who sings in Ashes to Angels. I'm Cat Casino. <laughs> He's not. I'm Krilly. I sing in Ashes to Angels. I'm not. Um, I'm Falco. And, it, and this so, is Lawrence Beveridge from uh, FEK. Yeah. He doesn't talk a lot. He's he's a he's panda. Very shy. He's the strong, silent type. Yeah. Hi, I'm Falco from Ashes to Angels. I think it's pretty obvious that it's myself, Nick Cave from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. How yeah. about you, Jim? Death Hi, Jim. metal. No, I, you like Burzum. I love Burzum. I like Aiden and um, I like punk rock and I like hip hop. What was the question? Van Gogh. Um, Rachmaninoff. My sister can draw quite well. This is what we're like in interviews. Just chat shit. I, I love his sister. No, no, I, I love. Um, like Sister, uh, Smashing Pumpkins. earlier. Sister were really good, but I love Smashing Pumpkins and My Chemical Romance. Speeding ticket, it's three o'clock in the morning, going 53 and a 30. That, that kind of sucks. <laughs> so embarrassing, that's just irresponsible. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. I, I suppose losing all of my clothes at the hatchet. Weren't you at that weird fetish night? <laughs> oh, yeah! He yeah. was inside the grope box. Yeah, that... <laughs> and that's where we got him. Yeah, that's where they found us. It's like, feels like a drummer. Drumstick. You're a drummer? They, they just found a drumstick and they were like, you're, you're the one for us. You're hired. I wasn't very Amazing good. Story. Didn't even play the drums then. Good. My quiff doesn't work with this wall. Uh, I fall over literally all of the time. Or, or I'll be spinning my microphone and that's all well and good. And then suddenly, like, it won't get tangled around me in like a cool kind of, oh my god, I'm like a goth tree way. It'll get tangled around me in the most mundane fashion. Like, it'll get hooked through the eyelet on my boot. And I'll just be there, just like, spinning it limply in one hand and trying to... Detangle myself and I'll light up boxes, make it quite obvious what's going on. It's like a spotlight to show how stupid I am. <laughs> he broke my rib, but that was more awesome. Uh, I guess the most embarrassing thing I've done that can, comes to mind would probably be falling into Jim's drum kit. That was pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, you broke, oh, yeah you broke my symbol, didn't you? I remember that. That's because we made it out of China. <laughs> Just we heard the name. We, he slit his nose open once and I had to that glue it back hilarious. together. Awesome. Yeah, it was like hospital or I can use this super glue. Mm. He's not even scarred. He crashed his car. Yeah, that's against, embarrassing. Against the odds, it actually sounds like this time it wasn't his fault, which is incredible because he sucks. He is literally the worst <laughs> driver I've ever been Never in. I don't think Never he's got, I don't think he's passed a test. Yeah. I, I, I have passed the test. test. I have passed the It was a maths test of some description. Oh, okay, <laughs> I have passed the test. Yeah, last Tuesday I had a near fatal car crash. Near fatal. Near. You're so yeah. dramatic. Oh, he, my cat lost his collar. That was Powerful. upsetting. He's just yeah. running around naked. My cat's disappeared. I've been days. running around naked though, but. Oh, yeah, I did a wee wee on the car. I, ha I haven't done many things really, really embarrassing since I joined this band. But <laughs> I have did join this band, us. which is quite embarrassing. I love this band. <laughs> Depending how big the show is, if it's something crazy, I do like to tell him it's just a gig. Apart from that, it's mostly just running around going, oh god, we gotta fix he everything. Me. Nico and I will sleep as little as possible and drink as many Punch energy me drinks dress. as physically possible. So we, ha we run on this nervous energy yeah. adrenaline sort of thing and then we just run at the stage and go, holy shit. Yeah, we're, slow, we're too busy really to get nervous or have rituals because we have to put all our shit together. Work out how to tune a guitar. <laughs> fix that. everything that's broken between sound check and the thing. And there's not really any time for rituals. But if we come up with something wicked, we will. So I knew a band who wouldn't go on stage until they'd all rolled snake eyes. But I'd fucking lose the dice or some shit. Be like, gigs cancelled. I swallowed a dice. We'll see what it comes out as. <laughs> Our last record. Um, Will from Alien produced it, and he's like, he's even more punk rock than we are. We're so fucking punk, obviously, as you can I tell. Mean, Don't talk about the next album. I've written the next album. We multi-tracked and shit like that, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't really fuck with yeah. the drums or anything like that. We just shouted at Jim until they were right. So it's, 
Like it's a li- it's a live record. And I've it's... got a terrible nervous disposition. I just flinch at everything. Yeah, he used to do this thing though, where you put in a double kick with his foot. So this is way better. Awesome, <laughs> and I think he'll go far. I used to do my best not to turn to him and go, "Yeah, your songs were the first songs that I ever learned to play on guitar." I you made are my hero, and I love you. I made him pulled pork, which he liked. Yeah. He left blood in my bed, which I liked. <laughs> but mostly, we just worked and got it done. Like we went to Starbucks a lot. Mm. Like he's from Seattle, Seattleite, Seal Tone, and who fucking knows? And like he wouldn't do anything until you put Starbucks in him. But I like, drive everyone to Starbucks and then we start working. He thinks he drove mostly. Will took his car. Just kind of. This guy's so great. So oh, good tonight. Yeah. You're so crazy. He's got some very manly shoulders. Made me feel safe if he gave me a hug. Um. Interlude. I dress entirely in Primark clothes. Nico, on the other hand, has kind of got this thing going on. Yeah. I stole this image, jacket. Image it's not as important. important, but it is very important. Don't listen to the image. Like... Yeah, no. I just wear black yeah. and put, like I've always done. Oh, I dress will go out of fashion you know, again, and then we'll be back to. Uh, it's important okay. to have everything to sort of match how you, how you oh, feel yeah. about the music. Yeah. It's my least favourite thing anyone said in this interview. Hey, Your hello, Dolce & Gabbana. I broke my D&G glasses earlier today. Fuck no, it's really it's cheap when people out. plan shit. It's just like, I wrote these songs and they make me want to go, ah! And how can we expect the audience to go, ah, if we don't care? You know, bands that stand still, they don't like their songs. Or their craft work, and they love bicycles. No, it's not, I hurt myself a lot. But it's because you're incompetent. We do plan our set list, like, it depends who we're playing with, like, Tonight what the kind of night on. is. It's like, yeah, we had half an hour, so we're like, well, we'll just play eight songs in 29 minutes. Well, like we played for an hour and 40 the other day because we're filming a DVD. Never like to do more than one show a month in Bristol or any town because it completely reduces your uh, your attendance. Like we had over 200 at our DVD show, which was crazy. And then this one, we fortunately did manage to sell all of our tickets, which is lucky because they stop booking you if you don't. But Tim looks after us. He loves yeah. us. Yeah. He's a good guy. We look after He's a good him. Man. He gave us loads of these. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. Oh, I'll never be thirsty oh, again. I didn't know they were rehabs. So I thought they were the. Ripper ones, and I'm not allowed to drink them. They're gone now. We got a single coming out, I think, on the 12th of April. Uh, we're headlining the garage for our first like proper London Friday show. Uh, we're going on tour in May. We got a couple of dates with um, William Control and then a bunch of other shit. Um, FDK in Plymouth. Ah! Oh no, in Plymouth. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> shut up, Jim. Yeah, shut up, Jim. Shush. <laughs> You don't even know. He doesn't know. Anyway. Yeah. You don't even know. Apparently I don't know the shows that we're already announced for. He doesn't, because he's desynced from our calendar, which made life so easy. In Bristol, we're playing. In London, on the second date, we're trying to get onto Cardiff. We're trying to get onto Newcastle. We'll be on tour in the gaps as well.